In this video, I'm going to show you how to use user context with a copilot that is using Entra IDs as an authentication mechanism. So I'm going to first use the same copilot that I built in a previous video that was allowing you to be able to generate answers using SharePoint. I'm doing this so that you don't have to watch this video and rehash out how to set up the authentication. So if you need to know how to set that up, please check that video. I'll put a link or a URL here in the video for you and it'll also be in the comments. But if we start looking at this particular copilot, which is set up for authentication, and just to show you that this is set up for authentication, you'll see that we can go down to the security settings. And once we go into authentication, you'll see that this is set up for manual authentication. Now, you can do authentication with only for Teams and with Power Apps, and I'll explain why there's a difference between these and why you might want manual versus only Teams and Power Apps. So let's go and dive into this. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the topic section and we're just going to go to, let's just go to the thank you uh, location here. You can do this in any topic so that you can kind of see how this works. But if I come in and I add an additional node and the node I'm going to add is set a variable. What I want you to see is I want you to see that because this is authenticated, it's going to give me some user context that I didn't have before. So if I just say I want to set this to a value and I come in here and I type user dot, we're going to see that we have a whole bunch of user context that we can leverage here. And this is kind of interesting because let's see it, it, me use this uh, as an example really quick. So I'm going to go and take our conversation start. And in the conversation start, you can see it says hello, and then uh, it has the information here. But just to give you perspective, if I wanted to say your name in here, I can come in. So I can go to the variable here, and I can go to system, and I can just search for user. And now I have the information about the user. So I could just come in and say user first name. And now that I've put user first name in and I go in and I save this. Now that it's saved, what will happen is if I click this button here, which uh, refreshes the conversation, you'll see it says now, hello, Dwayne. So this is a great way to be able to customize your copilot and be able to make it understand who you're talking to. And so this is really important for people who are playing around with authenticated experiences. Now let's, let's dive in a little more because I wanna go back to this whole variable piece and I wanna show you a little bit more context. So, and why you might choose one versus the other. Again, we'll click over here on system and we'll type user and this will filter out everything except for the user pieces. And so notice that you see things like the principal name, uh, the language, the last name, um, and all these other different pieces. Again, this is all coming from Entra, uh, when it, because I've got my Entra up, formerly known, by the way, as Azure Active Directory uh, back in as the authentication. But if you'll notice, I have something called user.access token. Now this is why you might want manual authentication versus just using the um, standard authentication that comes out for Teams. And the reason is because this is what will allow you to grab the token and be able to use it as a bearer token downstream to impersonate the, uh, the person who's authenticated. So if you're doing this in the SSO for Teams, um, a configuration you're not going to see this as an option and so you can't impersonate the user or take action downstream to other apis using the token so this is a really key differentiator for why you might choose one or the other type of authentication system and you can see the power of being able to have access to the user context that you can pass in and build into your copilot
Well, I hope this video has been helpful for you today. Know that I would love for you guys to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, you can go try Copilot Studio at aka.ms slash try Copilot Studio and go build something awesome.